At first glance, you may think you've been transported to another time long gone by. But today, this train is ready to leave from an historic wooden depot built in 1894. Mama! We're here, wait, it's not time yet, almost. Before you climb aboard, check out their museum. It has several wooden train cars, all predate 1915. One car was used to carry fish in milk vats to stock the lakes in northern Wisconsin. And here it is today. We walk through this beautifully restored car. This is one of the vats. If you ever wondered how trains got around in the winter months, this train plow was built in 1906. All aboard! Time to board the train. After a few flips of the switch by the engineer, it was time for our adventure to begin. The cars on this train were built between 1914 and 1917 and were part of a commuter train from New Jersey to New York. I think it's in your blood. I, I had a grandfather that was a railroad policeman for the Chicago Northwestern Railroad before the Depression. Rick and those who work here are volunteers, and they're happy to share their love of the history of trains. The railroad itself was built in the late 1800s and finished in 1903 to LaRue, Wisconsin. We'll go through LaRue today. At that time, there were iron ore mines there. They had a population of 700 people. The trip is 55 minutes, and it recreates and preserves how people traveled 100 years ago. Now families are sharing this experience together in 2016. Just want to bring the kids, let them have the experience. She said, I've never been on a train, so I just want to be on a train. <laughs> Sage and her brother Riker, who was so anxious for this journey to begin, seem to enjoy their experience and being out in the fresh air. I think the children and the family should learn the history. It's, it's part of our heritage. To help with that, at the end of the first three-mile leg before we turned around, you get the opportunity to talk with the engineer and take a peek inside the engineer's cabin. People use the trains primarily to get from town to town. We did not have the roads like we do now. We do not, did not have airplanes. So the freight and people had to get from town to town using the railroads. And now you can use it just for the love of it. In North Freedom, Christine Bellport, NBC 15. Wow, that is amazing. They operate on the weekends only now since it is the fall. The month, uh, this month, they have a wine and cheese tasting train and their guided wooden car tours in the museum that you saw in the story here. In October, they have an autumn color train weekend and the pumpkin train where kids can buy pumpkins at the end of the line and take them back with them. What a great story. Great job, Christine.